The name Matt Frazier requires no introduction. Being the fittest man on earth for five consecutive years, winning numerous titles, dominating the weightlifting world, and moving on to train some of the most famous athletes. Matt Frazier's career is a true depiction of how consistency and dedication to your profession can enable you to achieve heights of success, fame, and respect globally. Today, Matt Frazier's career serves as a source of motivation for people who are entering the field of CrossFit or weightlifting. Many youngsters follow the training and dietary programs of Matt in hopes of becoming as strong of an athlete as their idol. Today's video is dedicated to how Matt Frazier made his marvelous career and how he is spreading his expert knowledge to the younger generation. Matthew Frazier is a Canadian by birth and was born on January 25, 1990 in Kingston, Ontario. During his early childhood, Matt had moved to Colchester, Vermont in the U.S. along with his family. At a tender age, he started showing signs of being a natural athlete as he had learned to swim at the age of one and at 18 months he could water ski. His athletic tendencies only grew to be stronger and by the age of 12 he took up weightlifting by joining a nearby gym. Along with his passion, Matt focused greatly on his studies and he graduated high school from Colchester High. Soon afterward, he secured a scholarship and joined the Olympic Training Center in Colorado to train full-time for the Olympic Weightlifting Games. In 2009, Matt was enrolled in the Junior World Weightlifting Championship to be held in Romania. However, he met an unfortunate accident during his workout and sustained a serious injury to his back while attempting a clean pull-up. He went on to participate in the championship due to his immense dedication, but the injury only got worse and he suffered a broken vertebra. Over the course of a year, Matt underwent surgery, but just four months into his rehabilitation, he was back to training. The surgery procedure took a toll on Matt's weightlifting dreams, and soon after his successful surgery, he enrolled in a math and physics program at Northern Michigan University. After spending two years in Michigan, weightlifting was a thing of the past for Matt and he continued his studies by studying mechanical engineering at the University of Vermont and acquired a double major degree. At the age of 22, CrossFit training piqued Matt's interest. He took it up and quickly got exceptionally good at it and competed in numerous CrossFit events in 2013, earning peculiar amounts of money just to support himself as a student. Now, as a student of engineering and business, he was focused on making a career in aerospace engineering and even worked as an intern in an aerospace company. During his internship, a co-worker motivated Matt to focus on CrossFit due to his athletic build and experience. Matt took his advice and by the time he graduated in 2016, he had trained himself to become a full-time CrossFit athlete. Matt's previous career as a kid is astonishing, from winning school championships in 2003, 2005, and in 2007, he was awarded the title of Junior National Champion of the 77 kilogram category. He also competed in the American Weightlifting Open Championships and came third in the 77 kilogram category and fifth in the 85 kilogram category. Further, he also secured the 8th position in the National Weightlifting Championship in 2012. After Chicago lost its bid for the 2016 Summer Olympics, Matt retired from the weightlifting sport, and his funding came to a sudden end. In Vermont during his bachelor's degree, Matt was introduced to the CrossFit sport and while training at Champlain Valley, he was encouraged to compete in CrossFit events professionally. From 2012 to 2014, Matt participated in different events on his own and with a couple of groups such as the New York Rhinos, but never came at positions that were needed to qualify for the professional CrossFit Games. However, in 2014, Matt emerged as the champion in the Northeast Regionals and finally caught some attention in the CrossFit community. At his first appearance in the CrossFit Games, Matt was the runner-up to Rich Froning and had seven top 10 finishes in that year's events. He was also awarded the Rookie of the Year title. In 2015, Matt faced a devastating loss in the CrossFit Games and lost to Ben Smith. 
In an interview, Matt reflected on his defeat and expressed how he was angry and heartbroken due to his defeat and performance. According to him, he was eating badly and trained irregularly. He mentioned that the 2015 defeat helped him understand what he was doing wrong and he learned a serious lesson. After the 2015 defeat, Matt did not lose his composure and trained significantly harder for the 2016 championship. In 2016, he finally won the 7K Ranch Trail Run. In all other events, he came in the top 10 positions and secured second position in seven other events. The 2016 games recorded a 197 point lead of Matt Frazier over Ben Smith, the biggest margin of victory ever in the history of CrossFit Games. The 2016 victory became the source of motivation for Matt and also the primary reason behind his rising popularity. In 2017, competed in the games again, winning four of the last eight events. He finished in first place by a margin of 216 points over Brent Fikowski. The 2018 games also saw Matt Frazier defending his title successfully, winning two events and finishing with a record of 1,162 points and a margin of 220 points over runner-up Patrick Vellner. The next year's 2019 CrossFit Games were held in Madison, Wisconsin, and Matt faced various challenges throughout the event. He started with two wins on the first day, but the second day came with different challenges. During the 6K Ruck event, a sandbag fell out of his bag, resulting in a 60-second penalty, and eventually finished in 17th place. In the sprint couplet event, he secured the 21st position. Despite his defeats, Matt won the final event, the Standard, which made him the champion for the fourth time, regardless of the smallest winning margin in men's competition since 2010. 2020 saw the global COVID-19 pandemic, and major changes were made in CrossFit Games. Divided into two stages, the first stage consisted of 30 men competing online, and Matt Frazier dominated four out of the seven events. In the final stage, Frazier was competing against just five men, and he won 10 out of the 12 total events, totaling 1,150 points, nearly double the points of Samuel Quant, the runner-up. Now, Frazier won his fifth consecutive championship title and surpassed the previous title of four consecutive wins held by Rich Froning. The 2020 CrossFit Games were the last professional event that Matt participated in, and in February of 2021, he officially announced his retirement from the competitive CrossFit Games through his Instagram. Just two months into his retirement, Matt inaugurated his own training program, Hard Work Pays Off, HWPO. This training program attracted several elite athletes and Matt delivered all training sessions via his own platform. Soon afterward, he started an individual training program and trained several athletes, such as Mal O'Brien and Justin Medeiros. His HWPO program has announced the roster of athletes that are going to participate in the 2024 CrossFit Games and includes popular names such as Mal O'Brien, Sam Quant, Jason Hopper, and Katrin David's daughter, among others. Matt shows extreme confidence in the athletes and is hopeful that one of them will become the champion of the 2024 CrossFit Games. His dedication and passion for the CrossFit sport pushed him to partner up with Buttery Bros Filmmakers and launched his own brand of supplements, which we now know as Podium Nutrition. He also has several sponsorship deals with major athletic brands such as Nike, Rogue, Athletic Brewing, Goat, and Beam. In a collaboration with Nike, he launched special edition Metcon cross training shoes, which feature the HWPO motto. Now, Matt Frazier's career serves as an inspirational tale for every CrossFit athlete today. With many more accomplishments yet to achieve, he is preparing athletes just like he prepared himself. Let's discover which of his students mirrors Frazier's dominance at the 2024 CrossFit Games. Now, if you like this motivational video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before you leave.